Okay. Do we have any other examples that y'all yes. want to show? Yeah, um, I can show the translation example that I was talking about yeah. really quickly. Um, so this one was done just because we're going to like spend a few minutes on it. But like I said, we've evaluated a lot of languages. Urdu's not one because like Czech, mm. not very popular or spoken, mm. but very important to me. And that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we said, just create a table with like eight traditional Pakistani dishes and mm -hmm. the focal points like, you know, you want to kind of see them head on. Um, I made this last night. Um, don't ever make food pictures at midnight. <laughs> uh, just not a good idea. It's and then I was hungry. like, I wanted to annotate the dish, uh, each of the dishes in Urdu. And so here we go. Um, wow. The thing that's wow. really impressive wow. about it is it really understands. So for example, this says si kebab. Um, the ligatures here, getting them right. So showing both the curves is important because otherwise it's a different word altogether. Mm. Mm. So to be able to get it that accurate, and, and this is 1K by the way, this isn't even 2K. And 2K mm. is where we see the improvement in text rendering Absolutely. and detail is amazing. Um, it's, it's got all of them right. Um, these are all things I, I've known and grown and loved. Up I mean, you got Halim up there, which is my favorite. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's incredible. <laughs> that's like we should go out to dinner. We yeah. should go out to dinner. <laughs> yeah. That's no, almost lunch, and like this is making. I am hungry. I know. Yeah. I am hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. You have to always do a food demo. It's like, yeah. of course, we should translate it to English. And so, as Amar correctly pointed out, we've got Halim back there. Hey. Uh, you've nice. got your favorite. You've got your biryani. You've got your sikh kebab. You've got your kheer. But. My other goal in life, other than having B build a brand that we can then get rich on, <laughs> yes, is to have her travel and come over to Pakistan. And so, of course, we should translate it. Now, all of these words are in Urdu. Let's try and see what the translations in Spanish look like. Um, I'm not expecting this to go really well because not a, lot of, not a lot of these have like English translations or Spanish translations. Mm. But where it did find them, so for example, this had said chicken karai and now it says puyo karai. Yeah, which, mm. is, which is perfect. It also called papa. And I think that's like the the sort of, I want to talk also about like the soda and reasoning. And I feel like this is really important, right? We translate what needs translation. We keep what need, doesn't need translation. And I think this is kind of like hinting at the authentic representation of it. Yeah. Um, I was going to say like Nicole started saying this like soda and reasoning mm -hmm. and editing and text rendering. That's all really exciting. And I think when you apply it, something that we briefly touch on is infographs. And I'm just like, I feel like it all comes together in something like that. So we've really seen like a step up there. And also we've just gone on Ella Marina. So give us a boat. We need peer yeah. reviews. <laughs> We're canvassing the internet right now. Yeah. Please, please give us a vote. Can we? Yeah. I have, I have two questions. Well, one actually to this comment about yeah. reasoning capabilities. I don't think for the original Nano Banana model you couldn't see like the thought summaries. Mm -hmm. which now you can actually oh, yeah. see. I don't know if there's anything interesting that shows up in this, but um, yeah, it's just kind of fun. It yeah. is really fun. <laughs> it's just for I mean, the it's very cool. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really fun to see kind of like how the model thinks about what it's doing. But yeah, yeah. We, we, we didn't have this in Nano Banana 1. We have it now in the pro version. Um, I think a really good example is like these really hard, these prompts that are really easy for us to as humans to visualize. So take an image of two people mm -hmm. and say swap their clothes. Really easy for us to visualize, but it's really difficult for models to do, especially if there's mm -hmm. patterns involved. But now because it has reasoning, it's able to understand that, okay, this is the t-shirt and this, this is t-shirt one and t-shirt two and I need to swap those out. Yeah. So you're able to kind of take that reasoning and then take it on. Another example that I'm seeing on the internet is create like a full wine glass. <laughs> the model we're tre like the, the model sees a lot of images of like a full wine glass is kind of half actually full, right? Like that's yeah, the yeah. core. But the model is able to understand and say, no, no, fill it to the top to actually fill it to the brim. And so you kind of then start to get these sort of reasoning capabilities and then visualize them. Mm. Chess, we can now visualize chess openings. I think uh, Fofer oh, wow. on Twitter like posted this, like show me the English opening, show me the Sicilian opening. Mm. Yeah. And now instead oh. of just saying, oh, this these pieces would move to a piece like position X, Y, mm -hmm. it can visualize it. Yeah. And that's so that's like really a full step forward. I'm excited to see how we explore this more. For can, sure. we, can we turn this picture into a uh, like a menu or something like that so Ooh. that I can, I can order this food right now and then we'll... <laughs> Let's add prices. Yeah, we'll add prices <laughs> too. And make, oh, I think price is an interesting one for like world knowledge. Like yeah. can, it, can yeah. it pick up on yeah. world knowledge and know like what the cost of these items We have to add be. the geography. Like I'm sure, you know, prices. <laughs> let's do let's do Bay Area prices. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you have an expense report coming your way. Yeah. Almost yeah. the same price as the toothpaste. Oh. Yeah. $18 for the toothpaste. Yeah. And then no, no, but on the thinking 
interesting summaries. I think one of the interesting things is also, you know, when you ask for something like an infographic about a wombat, like it doesn't really give the model much to work with, right? And so, like, we see that actually infographic. Actually, yeah, I'll, let's, do let's, I'll do it. I'll do it. I haven't contributed anything, so I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I, I conveniently didn't bring a laptop, so I'm just like asking yeah. all of you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to <laughs> do things. I'll for a recent F1 match. <laughs> anyway, if you guys I want, like, we get the menu. We get the menu. Yeah, oh, we cool. did. Uh, you want to put the menu up? Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah switch over. Get, get my career out of here. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is really funny because the <laughs> prices are indeed Bay Area. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, $24 for biryani doesn't go in that's crazy. Wait, yeah. <laughs> you didn't ask for Bay Area prices? It was uh, I did. Oh, you did. Okay, okay. Uh, do you want to show the prompt really quickly? Yeah, sure. Give that context. And it's got, it's got a little cute Golden Gate bridge. I know. Icon. Yeah. I love it. So you know, you know it's going to be relevant. So we know how to price or... or now new <laughs> food business. Can so you, if anyone wants to fund our cafe, that's next. Wow. There you go. Wow. So can you generate an image of a modern menu? I think even just hinting a little bit on the style that you want to do is enough and will take you like a long way. Uh, Pakistani dishes with real Bay Area prices, make it nine by 16, add illustrations. Wow. Let's go. That's awesome. Yeah. Short prompt. Nice. Short, short and sweet. Nice. Yeah. One of the nice things about this model too, and we talked about this a little bit for the first Nano Banana, is how just underspecified your prompts can be. But I yeah. feel like we've taken it to the next level. Even when you look at some of the things that went viral with Nano Banana, like the turn me into a figurine prompt, mm -hmm. that was actually like, what, 190 words or something? It was like an, actually like an insane amount of words yeah. to yeah. try to turn yourself into a figurine. Now with this model, you can literally just say like, you know, make me an image of a menu or an infographic and like it just yeah. kind of does it, which is <laughs> wild. <laughs> yeah. um, and then if you want something super detailed, somebody was just sending me a paper that they wrote and then they fed it to the model and it was like, you know, ma make me a fact sheet about this paper and then the model can do that too. So just like like the range of things that we can now do from like super underspecified to just like a ton of text is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that is crazy. 